What are we talking about in the world of science and technology uh, today? today aujourd'hui, on va parler de vieillissement et mm. de plâtre arm cast. All right, We're looking at cast. Bonjour à tous. Hello à everyone and welcome to this Psych Tech, tech segment. Kofi. I am Seth Kofi. Aging is a real public health challenge in the face of ongoing demographic change. The proportion of people aged 60 and above in the world population will almost double by 2050. In this contest, a new discovery has just enriched scientific knowledge. Worked by the development and STEM cells unit of the Institute Pasteur is shedding light on the mechanism of aging by identifying a key protein associated with this process. The protein in question called CSB is involved in cocaine syndrome, a disease affecting about one in every 200,000 people in European countries. The absence of the CSB protein or dysfunction causes premature aging, photosensitivity, progressive neurology disorders. The discovery shows that protein gradually runs out as the cells proliferate, leading them irremediably into the dead end part of sensing. It is now being demonstrated that this molecule is also capable of reducing the engagement of normal cells towards sensors. A better understanding of the fundamental mechanism that lead to aging is a crucial step in enabling healthier aging, which is a major strategy challenge for the coming decades. How do we age? If we age, if our organs age, if our tissues age, is that our cells are aging and the challenge is to understand why our cells are aging. We are losing our ability to regenerate our tissues because we have cells in all our tissues called stem cells. Little by little, these stem cells decrease in number and they lose the ability to differentiate. And typically, we see this very well in the skin since the skin refines with age, but another event that appears is the sensing cells that accumulate with age. They tend to secrete a whole set of factors that will disrupt a fabric and influence the entire environment. Probably the appearance of wrinkles, for example, is also due to presence of these sensor cells. But identifying the key protein link to aging is of course a major challenge if we want to try to slow down this phenomenon, but also perhaps has to reverse it. This is what makes you dream. Let's move to another innovation. Many people have already been forced to wear a cast after an injury, whether it's on the arm or the leg, is never really pleasant. The limb is locked and breathing very little, a real source of itching that can sometimes be infernal, not to mention possible odors. In addition, the plaster must not be exposed to water at all, which is particularly restrictive for washing. To finish with that, Cast 21 American startup uh, recently unveiled a brand new type of plaster. Made of resin, it has many advantages over conventional plasters while currently fulfilling its primary function of immobilizing the limb, this new cast is quite comfortable. With large opening, it is breathable as shown in the images, in other words, no more itching. In addition, it can go underwater, so it is totally possible to take a shower with it and even clean it. It is also possible to paint and decorate it as desired, although the surface area is smaller than in the case of conventional plaster. This plaster of the future is installed quickly, as it takes only about 10 minutes. This involves using liquid resin that will solidify quickly to support the limb. Moreover, this same process could be of interest to military steel, uh, still looking for new rescue devices. However, this is indeed a solution that all hospitals could adopt. Toastcast 21 next step is to test his prototypes in new few health facilities before proceeding with last commercialization. If you have questions, uh, suggest innovations to share with us, don't hesitate to write us on Twitter through this. This is the end of the SciTech. I'll see you next week on African News. Goodbye now.